Okay, now it's a searching game. He's over there. I need to talk to him. There he is. Oh, thank God. Those are the parts of the quest. They're not separate quests. Well, they could very well be separate quests because most likely I have to do something because nothing gets done for free in this game. What do you want? Please help our daughter. May Asclepio spare her from suffering. Will she live? Not unless the gods heed our prayers. Many sick Athenians have arrived in Argolis recently, and very few have left. This poor girl has the same sickness. Is there anything I can do to help? I was warned of the eagle bearer. Wants nothing but drachmi for blood. I was told. We're wasting time, priest. We can discuss what I want when this sick girl's needs are taken care of. Her illness seems to have no cure. And it's spreading. Our sacrifices have done little to draw the attention of the gods. Pigs, goats, all have fallen on deaf ears. We need a beast whose blood will ignite these flames for Asclepios to see. What did you have in mind? There is a rumor of a bull with skin as white as snow roaming the sanctuary outskirts. Head west of here, towards the coast. Bring it to me alive and we'll offer a sacrifice the gods cannot ignore. I'm touched you will help these people. But I know why you're really here. Chrysis made all priests swear oaths to seal our lips in the face of the eagle-bearing Mystios. Or forfeit our lives. But I serve the gods and the sick. My oaths are to them. The outskirts are vast. Can you be more specific about the location of the bull? Last I heard it was grazing on Mount Corifam, near the Asini ruins. How am I supposed to bring it back alive? If you're just going to slit its throat, why do you need the bull alive? <laughs> but we're not just going to slit its throat. First, we pour water on its head. If it nods, we may proceed. Gods, mortals, and animals, all must be willing participants in a sacrifice, or it is impure. To save this many people, we will need the beast's blood, bones, and fat. Tell me about Chrysis. She has everyone terrified. We taught her everything we knew about healing, about the gods. Then she found new teachers, people in masks. They changed her, turned her heart black. They became her gods. I'll find this bull for you. <sighs> so far away. I don't know how I'm expected to bring this thing back alive. Oh, so I can tame it. Do you want me to tame it? Am I too late? Okay. What is mm. here? There's an ancient tablet here. Look 
like he died willingly. I'll take his heart for the sacrifice. It'll have to do. Oh, not the best feeling. I assume the tablet's probably in here. I was not even close. It's over here. Got it. Ooh, plus four. We can do another upgrade. Time. Hall upgrade, which will give me access to another lieutenant. You got one more hull upgrade. Mm. Press or run to fire javelin. It's pretty sweet. Turn back, baby. Go back now. <laughs> well, didn't necessarily follow directions, but at the same time, I I wasn't the cause of the death for the bull, so I don't know what you want me to do. Did you find the white bull? I couldn't bring it back alive. But I did manage to collect its heart. This won't be enough to please Asclepios. The beast died unwillingly. And with just a heart, we'll only be able to pray for one life. Please, Mythios. The white bull you killed was mine. My farm feeds half of our lease. If I die, people will starve. I beg you! My husband was killed by the sickness. I have two small children. Who will take care of them if I die? I am wealthy and will pay you for this blessing. <coughs> it's okay. Give the sacrifice to them. You did this. You choose whose prayers get heard by the gods. Pray for the farmer. The bull was his. Its sacrifice will help feed the people of Argolis. Thank you, Mistyos. Very well. The rest is in the hands of the gods. I did my part, priest. The Spartan woman you're after. You've met her? Her visit to the sanctuary is legendary. But sadly, it was before my time. The man you want is Midon, the elder priest. He spoke of her often. That is, before he cut out his tongue. Cut out his tongue? When he's not healing the sick, he's in the guest house. Spends a lot of time being tended to by the servants. Thank you. I won't forget you helped me. And these people won't forget you helped them. This guy had did nothing. You knew nothing. Ugh. Load in fire. Speak no evil. Why do all the quests? Greetings, young one. Come to offer us Clipios a sacrifice? No, but I'm searching for a Spartan mother who may have. The great goddess Ira guides many mothers to the sacred place. Surely I'm too feeble to remember them all. What are these stone slabs for? 
These are uh, records. We document all who pass through, uh, their illnesses, treatments, so that the glory of Asclepios can be celebrated. Then I don't need your memory. I just need to find the right stone. Um, yes, of course. That's very wise indeed. If only I had the time to help you. Listen, I'm not here to hurt you. I'm just looking for my mother. It's Chrysis. She's got every priest in the sanctuary under her thumb, and she'll squash anyone who feeds information to the eagle bearer. Then don't tell me anything. Just bring me to the stone that can. Follow me then. Quickly. We must be discreet. Lead the way. Seems so inefficient. <laughs> Every way, visitor. Over here. If anyone is watching, they'll have my head. What kind of sanctuary isn't safe for its priests? Times have changed, Eagle Bear. A slab for every visitor, man. Waste of resources. Just write it down. Ah, I remember this tale. Written during the time of the great Elod Revolt. You would have been only a child. I don't need the history, just the details. It tells the tale of a woman with worms in her throat. Asclepios took off her head so we could remove them, then reattached it in her sleep. Definitely not the right one. I wonder what Hippocrates would think of these treatments. Hippocrates is a fine healer. Showed so much promise. Showed? He's healing the sick right now. He puts too much faith in his hands and not enough in the gods. When it comes to life and death, I prefer hands. Are all the testimonies so outrageous? Writers today, Thucydides, Evripides, the petulant Aristophanes, all of them try for realism. But what really inspires is greatness, magic. <laughs> Why? What are you doing? This one tells the tale of a man with sword wounds. A pack of dogs licked him clean, and Eureka, a man's best friend indeed. This is hopeless. These stories give people hope in Well, I'm losing mine. Tell me about Hrissis. A very powerful, dangerous woman. But it was not hopeless. She was a the ways of the gods. She learned to very quickly. It was very strong willed. And uh, before yeah. too long, it was the priests who listened to her. She was loved, but there's an anger in her heart that could not be soothed. So, when her methods turned to madness, anyone who opposed her got... Um, got what? I've already said too much. And what about this one? Let me guess. It tells the tale of a blind woman who had her eyes licked by snakes. It reads, of Sparta, came here with child, sought pity from the gods. Why is most of it scratched out? Oh, uh, I'm... I'll just tell you. I know this one by heart. The Spartan woman arrived filthy and bleeding from her travels. We cared for her, gave her food, a bath, and she left. Where she went, I do not know. The child... Could not be saved. Who does know where she went? We've been spotted. Meet me later, near the olive tree of Heracles, at the entrance of the sanctuary. I may have something for you. And what do we have here? A priest and a mercenary out for a friendly stroll? May the gods be with you, Plistos. 
I was just on my way to the archives when this Mystheus bumped into me. Is that so? And what were you both chatting about so fervently, might I ask? The good priest here was teaching me how to heal sword wounds. Um, yes, sword wounds. Oh, really? And what is the treatment for sword wounds, according to Timoxenos here? Dogs. What about them? You use dogs to lick the wounds clean. Very good. Don't give away all our tricks, Timoxenos. Who will bring offerings to the gods when our patients learn to heal themselves? <laughs> no, no, of course not. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have matters to attend to. You have your treatment, Mistios. Now please, leave the sanctuary. Good thing I remembered. This place is so snooty. I really hope he ain't dead. I feel like you have enough just to do the one quest line, but I want to get the full story. That old priest hiding by the tree. I want to get the full story here. The full scope of things. The tree of Heracles. The tree of Heracles? I'm not sure if it's loved more for its legend or its olives. Now, where is that priest? I thank you for your discretion, Eagle Bearer. Chrysis has many eyes and ears throughout the sanctuary. What else can you tell me about the Spartan woman and child? The woman left the child's blanket behind. We tried to return it. But it was too painful a memory for her. Where did she go? What happened to the child? So, Chrysis was right. You knew the rules, Timoxenos. You will suffer her wrath. Please, Tos. Please. Get behind me, priest. I'll deal with these two. Got you! <laughs> <laughs> Such a big guy, you're kind of a wussy. What level are these guys? They have a lot of XP. Finish you off. Some really good angle going on right now. That's better. Dodge you. Spartan kick. Uh. <laughs> Arrow to the face. Oh, that ended the quest line. Literally right there. Okay then. Last one. Oh yeah, I have a skill point. What do I want? I'd kill for some smoke bombs. Smoke bombs would be sweet. Okay, that's what I bought. Got a new arrow ability finally. Took me a while. We got it. Alright, what do you need, sir? If you're here for your purification bath, you'll have to come back another time. I'm here for information. In that case, you can go straight to Hades. I need to know about a Spartan woman who came through here many years ago. 
Did that eagle of yours shit in your ears? I'm under strict orders not to talk to any mercenaries. Especially not about Spartan women or injured babies. I never mentioned the baby. Think you're so smart? Many women pass through with babies. Now leave me. I have my own problems to deal with. Maybe I can help you. Snakes! Snakes. They're everywhere. Must have escaped from the Tholos. We keep them for treatments, but they invaded the bathhouse. The snakes killed someone? A patient was purifying himself when they slithered <laughs> in. Turns out he's terrified of snakes. Fell over dead. Now the snakes have made him their home. What if I took care of your snake problem? Would you talk to me then? Oh, most definitely. The purification bath is crucial in the path towards healing. What does taking a bath have to do with healing the sick? Asclepios only visits the dreams of the pure. When the sick arrive, they offer sacrifice, cleanse their bodies in the bathhouse. Only then do we let them rest in the Abaddon, where Asclepios appears and heals them. How did all these snakes get loose? And why are there so many at the sanctuary? Blame Dorios! He's supposed to keep them in the Tholos. Patients with afflictions of the mind are healed by the snakes. Their tongues are like kisses from the gods. I'll clear out these snakes in no time. Icarus could use a good feast. Try not to kill them. Orios will be furious if you sacred snakes get chopped to beats. Then how am I supposed to deal with them? Snakes are drawn to the bath's heat. Flood them with cold water and they'll slither back to their hole. There's an underground pipe that may help Oh my god, really? I'll take care of your snake problem. Then you'll tell me what I need to know. Can't kill the snakes. It's like walking day all over again. Get my Indiana Jones on. Oh. I could kill them or I could deal with the watering hole. That's the pipe. Opening it should flood the bath. And get rid of the snakes. Easy peasy. House free of snakes. I flooded the bathhouse with cold water. Good riddance. Well? Well what? I took care of the snakes. Now you're going to tell me about the Spartan woman and the baby. <laughs> I actually don't know anything. It was before my time. The man who does know is Mithun, but he won't tell you. He won't tell anyone anything. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. <laughs> I should go. I should kill him. Can I kill him? Whatever. It was easy XP, okay? Quests. He has no tongue. He can't talk. Let's have chit chat. I should try to stay out of sight. Oh, never mind. I gotta sneak in here. Oh, 
one. Two. That's a big guy. Holy shit. Big man. Too big. Probably could have just snuck in there, but whatever. Stuck in the corner. Not be able to take that guy's shield, but I'll take your shield. While you battle crying, man. While you battle crying when you're about to die. Bodies. Guards! They're dead. And you must be Midon. He doesn't speak. So I've heard. I'm here to find out why. Chrysis did this to him. Uh -huh. I thought he did this to himself. To prove his loyalty to her. Now, why would Chrysis want an elder priest to cut out his tongue? Midon is a caring, generous man. I want answers from him, not you. Tell me about the Spartan woman and her baby. He can only answer yes or no. The Spartan woman, was her name Mirini? They said she had a baby with her. Was it hers? The baby was close to death when they arrived. Midon prayed for its life. You saved the child. No. He did everything he could, but the baby was badly wounded. I'm so confused. Did she tell you where she was going? Do all sanctuary priests take their servants to bed? I am not his servant. We share a sacred bond. A sacred? Right. I know why Chrysis made you cut out your tongue. The night my mother brought my brother here, you and your priests left him for dead. And Chrysis didn't like you telling the story. That's not what happened! What do you know? You're too young to have been there. He told me the story many times before that witch stole his voice. He tried to save the baby, did everything he could. I don't believe you. Dead? How can my baby be dead? I don't know what to tell you. You were lucky he survived as long as he did. That, that fall was devastating. My baby! My baby! 
Listen, there's nothing we can do for you anymore. You'd best be on your way. Ray is here. <laughs> They're gone. They're both gone. He wept for that Spartan woman so far from home. Her baby barely recognizable, hardly breathing. Tell me, please. I need to know. Not even Apollo could save the child. Medon told me how the Spartan woman wept, held the baby in her arms, sang to him, before finally leaving him to the gods. Chrysis took the baby, didn't she? And she made you cut out your tongue to hide the truth. Where is Chrysis? There is an altar where people offer their sick babies to be healed. This is where she took the child. Find it near the statue of Apollo Maleatas, and you'll find Chrysis. People come to this sanctuary to heal. But I come here and find people dying without hope, priests without tongues, and babies left with an insane woman. <laughs> My mother was a fool to trust any of you. I'm going to find Chrysis, and she's going to pay for what she's done. I have a feeling he Hush, wasn't my dead. Child. May Ira bless our sacred family. No. <laughs> Level sixteen. This is the key to finding my mother. I must find this altar of Apollo Maleatas. <laughs> 